you need to know what nuclear fusion is and the difference between that and nuclear fission. So here we have a picture of our sun and it looks very, very different from the, the normal circle we see with rays coming out that maybe your younger brother or sister draws all the time. We can see that our sun is incredibly, incredibly active. We have all these spots here where you can see plumes of gas coming out. There are hot spots here where there's lots of activity going on. This picture of the sun tells us that there's a lot going on in there. Our sun is made up of about 75% hydrogen nuclei and about 25% helium nuclei. And these are just the nuclei, no electrons. And they are whizzing around like absolute crazy all over the place. And every so often, some of these nuclei are going to hit each other. And this is when nuclear fusion is going to take place. Now, the process behind this is really, really very complicated. When two protons collide with each other, they're going to produce heavy hydrogen. Now this does sound a bit weird since you'd expect them um, to have just be two protons together. But what we actually get is a proton and a neutron. There is lots of other stuff going on here that you don't need to know about at this point in time. But then we have these heavy hydrogens whizzing around and then they collide with each other to form helium. And then it goes on and on and on. There is so much going on in here and every single time a reaction takes place there's so much energy being released as kinetic energy, lots of it's um, emitted, that's the heat and the light that we get from the sun. Now one of the big things that scientists are aiming for is fusion reactions on Earth. The problem with this is that it takes massive, massive amounts of energy to actually get these fusion reactions to happen. So we would need cold fusion. The reason so much energy is needed, because when you're trying to add two positive things together, they, they don't like each other. Positive charges repel. So you need to put so much energy in them to overcome this force. But the good thing about this is that the amount of energy that will be released when this fusion takes place would be more than the energy that we would put in. So th this is the, one of the ways in the future that we might be able to uh, meet all of our energy demands. The source for this, heavy hydrogen, is really, really easily available in seawater. The product that comes out is helium gas, so you don't have the problem of um, waste needing to be stored for absolutely ages like you do in nuclear fission reactions. And then the massive amounts of energy that would be released would be really, really useful in powering the world as we move away from our dependence on fossil fuels. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.